what's up everybody welcome back to some more call of duty no my blobfish has fallen and it can't get up and now that our blobfish is safe and sound ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the brand new dust to dust lucky draw is here in the game bringing with it some really cool stuff in general a bunch of stuff was added tonight that i'm going to be covering as well but today we're going to be focusing on the dust to dust draw as we can see over here the big thing about this is the rust is 79 u dust kicker with a similar effect to the outlaw and along with it the black ops 4 scarlet roads character from the zombie storyline so we definitely got some pretty cool stuff is the two kind of main draws of the well draw drawception along with a couple of other like mirage skins and stuff like that i'm curious to see if any of these might be part of a weapon set like the outlaw in the first one huge thank you again to call duty mobile for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel i appreciate it a ton make sure to check out call duty mobile from that link at the top of the description in case you have not already and start playing along with us ladies and gentlemen cross your fingers for me it's opening time wait do you see this face that is the face of someone who is not subscribed yet Turn that frown upside down and subscribe to Star Sniper, a COD mobile. Link to it will be at the top of the description. It is, of course, our second channel where we are having COD content coming out on a consistent basis. We've been aiming to have it daily, and I hope to see you all over there because plenty more COD mobile fun coming your way. But enough of an interruption. Back to your regularly scheduled video. I'm feeling hot. Can we do the impossible? Can we get the legendary skin? before the last okay starting off with the frame literally worst thing it could be but can we get the skin before i go bankrupt from popping these things open because i got about like nine thousand cod points i'm guessing it's gonna be a little bit over nine thousand and i don't know bro we're literally like we got a nice uh frame and picture combo but i didn't come here to you know get some new decorations for the walls you know replace the family portraits no want the legendary dude Come on, COD points are up to 120 for the third draw at this point. And of course, it's only gonna keep going up. We got the J358 Frontier, which honestly is a really nice combination of like that kind of like wood finish and the whole like metallicness to it. But bro, we're here, all of us, me, you, we wanna see this dust kicker in action. And then after I go bankrupt doing this, there are hopefully gonna be some pretty cool, let's go back and forth a little bit there. I'm not, oh. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, the Mirage skins are kind of nice. I didn't realize that at first glance. These are actually animated. I just kind of thought they were like static, but no. Huh. I mean, I don't really use the RPD too much, but I actually really like that skin in general. We can get it for the AK. Low key, I'm kind of rooting for that. Is the backpack skin animated too? it is oh dude there's actually some decent loot inside this lucky draw besides the big two that we're going for and so far it's looking like those might be the last two that we get come on baby show me the legendary especially because i don't even have a rust 79u at all so i'm really looking forward to this it's gonna start getting expensive near the end though smoke grenade mirage i don't i don't really care about the grenades though bro come on we're up to 1300 cod points for a pull yo i think i know why we haven't gotten it i need your help you i need you to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already because harambe do it if if they do it yes they need to do it if they do it okay you, you Y'all heard Harambe, bro. Uh, if we do it, don't throw me a huge block. If we can hit that like button and subscribe for more Call of Duty mobile content coming your way on the daily is what we aim for. Then, as Harambe just foretold, good things await us. Okay, now that you have a chance to do that, oh, please, mama, give me a little bit of this before I gotta buy more COD points. If I can pull, mm, okay, okay, I'll take it, bro. I'll honestly take it. Thank you for showing the AK because I got to admit, this AK is a nifty skin. The wood finish on it, clean. The animation on the receiver, also pretty clean. And it's on a part of the gun where you're actually going to be able to see it. That's one of the things I hated about the Chicka Moonstone unboxing we did the other day. The Chicka ended up having a part of the gun animated that, you, that was barely visible. You know, so that was a little bit of a bummer. Come on, baby. I'm probably getting in the backpack. Hey, that's all good. Pretty sick backpack. We'll be showing all of these off in action in some gameplay. We got one more opening, and then we do need to top up. 
to finish it off. And Lena Rhodes, not Lena Rhodes, Scarlet Rhodes is here. And look at that. Another zombie character added into Call of Duty Mobile. You love to see it. I've always been a huge fan of Call of Duty zombies in general. So to actually see some of these characters carry over into COD Mobile and be able to play as them is really cool. But the finale. The finale is once again asking for your financial support. <laughs> I kid, I kid y'all. I don't need your financial support. I, I will cover it. Y'all came here to see this in action. I'm gonna make it happen. That's what we do here. So make sure that y'all at the very least, I'm not asking for your financial support, but for your likey, like, like yo and subscriptional support. Yes. <laughs> so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the final purchase, 3,900 COD points, bringing the total cost for this to a little over 10,000, if I'm not mistaken. Say hello to the Ross 79U Dust Kicker in all of its legendary beauty. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, my. I didn't even realize that. Look at it's got like bullhorns on the front, dude. That's sick. I didn't actually realize that the first time around. This dust kicker literally has bullhorns on the front. The freaking barrel has like spikes around it, dude. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very nice skin. As much as I like the outlaw high noon, if you're gonna pick one of the two lucky draws, bro, I'm not gonna lie, the dust to dust draw. I'm kind of leaning towards it because we did just have the Frontier Justice draw. The Outlaw's nice and all, but dude, the Russ, that's just a whole nother beast. But without further ado, let's make the Russ a 79 class. And just the class showing off a lot of the new items happen. Here we have the Russ. We are going to be showing it off with its naked sights and its effect, by the way, which I think it has a kill effect where it turns the enemy to the dust, similar to the Outlaw High Noon, which is definitely a pretty cool effect. However, this one is not a part of a weapon set that's going to be getting you any kind of a bonus as a heads up, but let's go ahead and equip it. Once we do get it to level 11, double kills instantly add bullets into the clip, dude. I can't get over this thing. Like this is a nice skin, but we're not gonna really be able to see how nice it is till we do see it in game. But before we do that, let's show off some of the other newness. We obviously have Scarlet Rhodes over here looking fresh. Let's go ahead and give her that Mirage backpack since that's brand new. I don't know if it really matches her skin as well as the heat stroke. The heat stroke goes really nicely with a lot of the red in the new characters, but we're here to show off the newness. Let's actually equip the newness. There we go, that'll be useful. <laughs> uh so we're gonna be doing that let's go i think we got the new yeah no primary grenade i guess but we do have the mirage secondary grenade over here which is as well animated i think we got a secondary gun yeah we got the frontier over here let's go ahead and equip that and think that about does it i guess for the sake of showing it off here we do have the ak-47 mirage and this is what i was talking about too like this chicka moonstone when you're in game you barely see the skin just because of its like placement on the gun but like the ak over here does have it it's in a nice much nicer area it's right by the mag and the receiver so it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot more noticeable so that's just a little bit of a relief because bit big mad about our moonstone unboxing but there we got the ak-47 mirage definitely pretty nice the rpd is completely decked out unlike the ak but i kind of like the ak having the whole two-tone thing going with it just let y'all know we're gonna be hopping into the new game mode that did drop because gold rush is here so just as a little quick way of catching you up to things pretty much if you play the new killed confirmed game mode or in battle royale you can actually collect some of these gold bars at a thousand you can get the m4 lmg moonstone which is honestly a lot nicer of a moonstone because you can actually probably see the moonstones animation skin most of the time and as a quick little reminder there are some other skins too like we got the russa 79 u flowing bronze over here we got looks like mainly a lot of flowing bronze skins coming this being the third gun that you can get however i'm not really a big striker fan or an lk fan but that is pretty cool that they do give you the russ 79 u in its flowing bronze edition as well so let's start working our way towards this gold rush and let's show off that new all right y'all and here we are hopping into some kill confirmed on ye old and rust hard to go wrong with that we can see this beautiful skin over here let's see what the reload animation looks like 
Ooh, dude, that looks fresh. I love just how animated it is. The tubes flowing through it. Obviously, it's kind of a bit easier to see against a darker background. The horns on the gun, which is really cool. What's up, my dude? Definitely a fan of that, but uh, what you call? As a quick rundown for the Gold Rush event and how it does work in Kill Confirmed, you can also do it in Battle Royale, but for multiplayer, you got to be playing Kill Confirmed. When you are playing Kill Confirmed, I know that there's going to be people that... Really? A rocket, dude? Come on, bro. Pretty much every time you get a kill, you actually will get a gold bar. And every time a dog tag off the person you killed gets picked up, you will also get a dog tag. So y'all can see at the bottom, we just got one gold for... Was that a person there? Oh, I thought that was my freaking buddy. I should be focusing on that guy. Nice, nice. But yeah, whenever the dog tag off a person you kill gets picked up, you will get credit for it. Oh my baby. Oh my baby, let's go. That's a triple. Let's go. Yeah, every time a dog tag gets picked up, y'all can see at the bottom, we do get a little rust. Oh, I see a person getting shocked out there. Appreciate it, bro. There's people all over the place, yeah? We're doing all right, though. Ah, oh, don't hurt me. I want to go this way. I see people. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, every time you get a kill, you will get a gold. And then every time you pick up a dog tag... Not even you. You or your teammate pick up a dog tag off someone you killed. You will also get... I do hear a person behind me. Dang it. Man, we start off hot. We cooled off a little bit. Now, here's the thing. If I pick up a random dog tag... Yeah. So, if you confirm a kill at all, you'll get a dog tag. If someone confirms your kill, you get a dog tag. And whenever you kill someone, you get a dog tag. Not a dog tag. Gold bar. Every time I've been saying dog tag, I mean gold bar. Dog tags are what gets dropped. Wow, that was potato. I, I cannot wait to get a red dot sight on this thing because that's definitely what I'm a lot more comfortable using. But I did want to show off what the iron sights do look like, especially with like a legendary weapon. I do think the iron sights tend to actually be pretty cool. Obviously, red dots are bay, but you know, got to show a little bit of love. A little bit of love, a little bit of respect. That guy's turning the corner. Let's get it. Let's go. Should have some people around this corner, y'all. There we go. There we go. Doing pretty all right. Mess with the bull. You get the horns, baby. Beautiful random dog tag. We confirm the kill. So, yeah, I just wasn't sure if, like, you confirm someone else's kill if you get credit. But it turns out that you do. So, very cool. No, let me confirm that, bro. I'm trying to get gold. And, yeah, if you do solid, you should be able to average, like, a really nice amount of gold bars every time. They're going to start back spawning us here. There we go. Stopped him before he managed to grenade us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Saw a lot of people. <laughs> Dang. That's all good, though. We got the W, baby. Woo! Mess with the bull. You get the horn. <laughs> and there we are. Barely edging it out for a first place uh, performance. Snowman. Ahoy. Oh, that person over there. Oh, check it out. Summer 3007. Uh, also rocking the very nice skin. Both skins, actually. But yeah, I'm definitely a fan. Obviously, of both of the, like, the big main draws. Like I said, I'm a huge Zombies fan, and I do love legendary guns. It's hard not to. I think the animation and just design on it's really cool. I love the freaking horns on the front. And just overall, it's just like such an over-the-top gun. But it goes so well with the theme, too, just because like the whole like Wild West thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely a fan. Let's run it back one more time. Ooh, baby. Another classic. We got some nuke down. So yeah, let me know what y'all do think about this gun. Would you classify it as your favorite legendary gun? Maybe not gun, but like as a skin. You know, where do you think it stacks up in terms of some of the legendary skins out there? Because like, I, like, I'm not gonna lie, dude. The tactical unicorn is hilariously epic, but this one is just epic, period. I'm a fan of it. I do definitely like it better than the outlaw high noon, just because unfortunately the outlaw is just rough. Like, I don't know, man. It's definitely interesting stacking it up against some of the other legendaries, but let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below. There we go, dude. Barely got that. We got to go clean up those dog tags. By the way, it's going to be Nuketown, so it's really going to be run and gun here. Oh, I hear a person inside. Oh, we had two. We had two. We had two. Nice, nice, nice. There's like a person downstairs. Actually, front.
Ah, I really gotta get an extended mag on this thing, dude. Extended mag's gonna be nice on this. And that's where got the stealth chopper awaiting orders. Got this guy awaiting some death. Nice! Sniped him from afar. I don't that guy's moonwalking over here, bro. Hello? Hello? Is that guy gonna die, dude? I'm not exactly trying to use my revolver out here. This man is lagging up a bloody storm. I don't know what that guy's doing. I'm scared. Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. There we go. Come on, bro. Let me just get that VTOL. This is not the gun that I was supposed to be using, bro. The guy with the lag threw me off. My, my, my mom still did not pick me up, and I'm still scared. Oh, that's my guy. Come on, dude. Let me get some annihilator kills here, y'all. Come on down this hallway. Dude, I better not get shock RC. Bop. Another one? Another one? Bop! Bop! No! No! I tried no scope with the last one. That's okay. I, I wanted to die. I want to get some more ammo because I want to keep using this thing. I just spawned literally. Yep, yep, that's what I thought. I was gonna say. This is suspicious. <laughs> I don't want to use the VTOL as much as I'd love to. I just keep this going. I want to keep on showing off the gun, but let me know that comment section down below. Where do y'all rank this in terms of legendary guns? Is it your favorite? If not, which ones do you like more? Which ones do you like better than it? Any and all of that. The recoil definitely takes a little bit of getting used to it. It has this like weird kick, like a really sudden kick that goes up to the up and left. I don't know how to explain it. It's just throwing me off a little bit. I'm not using that as an excuse, but like it's definitely just takes a little bit of getting used to. So obviously, I have never used this gun before. Well, I don't know if that's obvious, but like, no, I have not used this gun before. So it's just a bit of a new experience there, laddie. All right, let's get... Oh. That thing going. Man, I'd love to hear in that comment section down below what y'all do. That guy turned the corner gunning. What? Literally what? Dude, that guy... What is his ping? 5,000? Oh, these spawns, though. I don't like that. Dude, that one guy is jumping all over the place. Holy guacamole. Nice. We're cleaning up, though. We're cleaning up some house. Cleaning up all sorts of kills over here. I am sorry. I am sorry for I have sinned. And it's not going well for these guys. Boom! Another double you. Oh, uh, how's he got the final kill cam? I yeeted that man. What? What? But with that said, with that done, that's going to go to start wrapping it up for this episode of Call of Duty Mobile. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys all the time for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.